What's up guys, it's Ed from Taxaurus and welcome to Setup Wars episode 59 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. So if you guys want to participate, make sure to watch the video link below. But ladies and gentlemen, without wasting any more time, let the Setup Wars begin. Never pay full price for games ever again guys, G2A offers the cheapest CD keys you can find anywhere. Check them out by clicking on the link below. Real quickly guys, before I start this episode, I have a serious question to ask you and that is, has Setup Wars even remotely helped you improve your own setup? If so, please click on the link below and vote. There is a straw poll link. I'm just curious about what you guys have to say. So with that said, you guys can find everyone's gear for their setups along with anything I recommend in this episode, linked below. But ladies and gentlemen, here are your five contestants for this week. We have Isaiah, Kirill, Nigel, Simon, and Sandeep. Congratulations for making it on the show. Starting off the episode, we have Isaiah and his pretty dope looking black and red setup. So this dude has two 24 inch ASUS monitors hooked up to a monitor stand and below that we have a Corsair K65 RGB keyboard and a Logitech G502 mouse on top of the Vipamaz mouse pad, which is actually the one I'm using for my own setup. Off to the left side, we have the Audio-Technica 2020 mic hooked up to the newer boom arm and we also have a pair of M50Xs with custom Brainwaves ear cups and DRAN skins. Definitely digging your style. I don't see any cables, so good job with cable management. It looks like Isaiah has drilled some holes in the back of the desk and routed the cables through and even hooked up a power strip on the roof of the desk. A few other mods I noticed were the USB hub attached on the left side of the desk for easy access and a cable drop that's holding up the micro USB cable which I'm guessing is used to charge your smartphone. The PC that's powering the setup has a 4790K and an EVGA GTX 970 inside the H440 case which unfortunately is being blocked by your monitors. I would recommend moving the boom arm and sliding the monitor over so that it's slightly hanging out from the desk if you want your case to be visible. I would then hook up the boom arm to the actual monitor mounts and pick up a headphone hanger for those headphones and place it under the desk. Again, these are just my recommendations, obviously nobody has to do anything I say, so if this setup works for you, by all means, don't change a thing. A very sweet setup, thank you Isaiah for entering. Kirill is next up with a very simple and clean setup. Very unusual to have the PC on the left side facing that way, but for some reason it just works. We have a 27 inch ASUS monitor hooked up to the wall and below that is the HP Elite wireless keyboard and a Logitech G440 mouse, all of which are sitting on top of the IKEA linen table with the Olav legs which are pretty much adjustable. The cable management makes me a very happy person. We have a Signum rack holding up pretty much everything and then one single cable running from the power strip down the legs and into the wall outlet. We also have an SD card reader, USB hub, and a remote for the LED strips attached on the roof of the desk and away from sight. I couldn't be more proud. And finally, the PC pushing all of these pixels has an i5-4460 which is paired with the EVGA GTX 970. I also noticed that you wrap the front side of the case and even the SSD in carbon fiber. Very nice. Overall, a very clean black and red setup. Thank you, Carol, for entering. Nigel is next up with something a little different. So in the corner we have a 25 inch LG monitor on top of a 24 inch BenQ and below all of that is the Razer Black Widow Chroma on top of the Corsair extended mouse pad. Off to the left side we can see a Philips soundbar in an unusual spot and on the opposite side is Nigel's box collection which consists of gear he has previously purchased. Who needs paintings on their wall when you can slap together a few boxes and hang that instead? Cable management on the other hand looks pretty good for the most part. I like the use of zip ties and cable clips to keep everything organized. Nigel's PC is running on another 4790K which is paired with an MSI GTX 980 Ti and it's also nicely modded. The motherboard heat sinks are painted along with the ramp sticks and we also have a custom made PSU shroud. Okay, so the acoustics. I'm pretty sure they are there for aesthetic reasons since you don't have a mic set up for recording and use a pair of G35s instead. But I gotta be honest, it could definitely look a lot better. First off, I would have used two different colored acoustic foams, black and white to match your setup, and second, I would have made some sort of a shape or design with them. I would also try and change the location of the soundbar because it just isn't effective being mounted on one side. Maybe figure out a way to get that installed on top of the LG monitor. But other than those minor tweaks, you have a very unique setup. Thank you Nigel for entering. Simon is next up with yet another very clean setup. We have a 27 inch Liyama monitor next to a 22 inch Dell 
and on the desk you have the Philco Magistouch 2 keyboard, Mionix Caster mouse on top of the Sharkoon mouse pad. This is an interesting layout in the sense that he didn't center the monitors to make room for the second speaker. He also opted to put the PC on the ground, which is something I strongly go against. A PC with a side panel should never be on the ground, let alone a good looking one like this. But sometimes you just don't have a choice, so I understand. Besides the other edifier speaker on the drawer, we also have a pair of Superlux HD 681 headphones on top of a wooden holder. Uh, cable management on the other hand is flawless, nothing I can really recommend. It looks like Simon is on top of his game. Signum rack up top and a spiral tube to hide the rest of the cables running down to the PC. Excellent job. I also like the custom made arcade sticks he built using Sanwa arcade parts, but this is probably the coolest thing in his room. A fully working arcade bar top running Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Street Fighter and a bunch of other arcade games. Very nice. As far as the setup, if it were up to me, I would do my best to make room for the other speaker and put the PC on the drawer instead, but it is what it is. Great setup, Simon, and thank you for entering. Last but not least, we have Sandeep with another productivity setup. So we have two 32-inch Samsung 1080p TVs on top of the IKEA Jonas desk, which is basically a mom desk, but without the cable management rack. Below those, we have the Apple wireless keyboard and mouse, which are resting on top of the IKEA Rissla desk mat. And we also have a pair of Logitech Z906 speakers, and in between those are the iPhone Lightning dock and Apple Watch stand. I can't really see the wires because of the backboard, so I can't judge the cable management, but I'm sure there aren't that many to begin with since most of the stuff is wireless anyways. And finally, the PC that's powering the setup is actually a 2015 MacBook, but overall a very clean and good looking productivity setup. Thank you Sandeep for entering. So that will do it for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, drop your comments down below guys and vote on who you think think has the best desk setup and I will announce the winners on my Twitter and Instagram accounts on Sunday <laughs> if you guys want to know who won. It's so basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure to click on the straw poll link and vote. i um, really interested to hear your opinions and what you guys have to say. But anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.